afternoon. It is Thursday, July 25th. My name is Karen and this is Bobblehead Knits. So welcome everybody. This is my knitting um, vlog where I talk about my knitting, a little bit about life, things like that. So uh, welcome to anyone who's new here. Welcome back to those of you who've been here before. So for those of you who have been here before, you might have noticed I had a little bit um, of a different intro made a new intro. I've been wanting to do it for a while, so I took a little bit of time this uh, past weekend and put a little fun, colorful intro together. So I hope you like it. It's a little shorter than my former intro, so let me know what you think. All right, let's get on with why you're really here, which is my knitting, and we'll start with finished objects. So I have one finished object. It is my son's Christmas gift, one of his Christmas gifts. It is the Oslo hat done in hedgehog fibers, alpaca DK in the colorway banana legs. <laughs> it is very bright and colorful. He picked this yarn out, um, but he doesn't know that I actually bought it and knit it. <laughs> so. Uh, of the 100 gram skein, I have six grams. Hold on one second. Have my, I'm digging through my uh, my knitting basket, which I'll show you here in a second. Well, here's my knitting basket in case you're wondering. I'll link it below where I got it. It is a place in uh, Albuquerque or Santa Fe, New Mexico and they do ship, so that's, if you're interested in getting one. All right, so I have a 100 gram skein of Alpaca DK. I have six grams left, there it is. I also have a whole other skein of this, and I'm gonna use it to knit my grandson a matching hat so he can match his dad. So these will be stocking stuffers, basically, for Christmas. And I think I knit, I was trying to think, one, two, I think I've knit four of these now. This is my fifth. So um, I will be knitting more of them. So just get used to seeing these between now and Christmas because they make great gifts. So I'm making them. All right. Uh, I did knit the medium. The large is really big, so I don't know anyone with a head that big <laughs> to knit, knit the large, but uh, the medium was um, really a perfect fit for him. It also will fit me, and I think he has a bigger head, head than me, so uh, it's a good kind of adult size hat. I don't know that the large seems like a good giant size hat <laughs> so all right I have not cast on the other one um the one for Atticus my grandson yet I have some other things I want to finish first and then I will start knitting that all right next thing um my whips I have basically well, I have three whips, but only two am I actively working on. So I'm just going to show, is that right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm just going to show the two and I'm going to focus on these two for the rest of this month. So the next week, basically, um, because I have a lot going on and I just want to get these done and off the needles and then I can shift gears and get more into holiday knitting. All right, so first one, I'm going to tell you if you don't want to see the Stephen West mystery or uh, surprise sock along for 2024, uh, look away, go do something else, come back next week, come back later, just know that I'm going to show it now. Okay, so getting ready to show it. Ready? <coughs> All right. There we are. I am almost done with the second clue. It is Thursday after the third clue was released. I'm a little behind, but it's okay. 
and I'm only working at one sock on one sock at a time. So uh, these are the size two, I believe. Hang on, I'm looking on my iPad so I can tell you exactly. Uh, they are. Hold on. Yeah, size. Was it size? Yeah, size two. And normally I do 64 stitches. So this cuff, which is, I don't know what, how many stitches, or this uh, leg um, is very, t not super tight, but tight enough on me that I think these are gonna turn into a gift for somebody. <laughs> the rib itself, the, the cuff fits fine. This part is tight. I have really big calves from running. Um, so uh, we'll see as I finish them if how they turn out, like will they be a gift or what? So I was thinking originally that they were gonna be a gift, but as I knit them, I realized they're so pretty. I hate to give them away. I'm selfish like that. Uh, but yeah, I might just go ahead and turn them into a gift. So. There's my uh, I-cord bind off uh, or join. And the thing I'm most impressed with, I gotta tell you, okay? He gives you the option of doing brioche for the heel um, or to do just straight garter. I haven't done brioche in, it's probably been like eight years. And what I did with brioche, I'm gonna show you because I had to take a class to learn brioche and I took it twice. And after I finished the second one, I was like, never again. But lately I've been talking to myself going, I really should do brioche. I really should try it again. So I decided that I would. Let me show you what I made. Like this has been a few years. So I made these, and this was when brioche was kind of new. I made these like, bandana type things. They're cowls. Uh, I made them in a class, two classes that I took at Colorful Yarn in Centennial, Colorado, and they're beautiful. So I have two of them. There's the one, and there's the other. It really took me a long time to get Rioche down. I still don't know how to fix brioche. And that's why I've kind of been just not so keen on doing it. <laughs> but the reality is that all these years later, I feel like I'm a much better knitter. So I was like, it's time to get back into brioche. So I've been thinking about that. That was gonna be kind of on my, my list of things to do next year, but I was pleasantly surprised because I picked it back up. Still don't know how to fix it. Uh, and I'll show you the evidence of that. But there it is, look at that. So the one thing I did wrong though, um, well, first of all, let me tell you, I told myself, I have another sock I'm working on that I'm gonna show you, it's my second whip. I told myself n that Really, I shouldn't be doing brioche. I should just be doing the regular heel flap, heel flap and gusset and whip it out and get done with these socks and move on. No one cares about the heel of a sock, right? Like, even if I give it to someone, they're not gonna care that this is brioche. You're not gonna know, but I would know. So I decided after doing the heel flap on the other sock I'm working on, I was like, okay, Tomorrow, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna tackle the brioche on this sock. And I'm gonna give myself like two or three tries. And if I can't pick it back up right away, I'm just gonna go back to my regular heel flap and gusset. I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't have time. I don't have brain space right now to be doing this. Well, <clears throat> I picked it back up and I, I really enjoyed it. But here's the problem. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe it was like I had to do it like two or three times and I watched Steven's video and I watched he has another video about how to do two color brioche so I watched that 
and so fairly good. Everything was great. I was um, maybe a quarter inch into it, not quite a half inch, and I looked down on the outside of the sock, and I realized that I had done the first or second row wrong. Uh, it's showing the contrast color where it shouldn't. I was not into fixing it. <laughs> so I will tell you last week, if you watched last week's video, I was complaining about my garter ridges, or not my garter, my um, chevrons weren't lining up and I wasn't gonna fix it and blah, blah, blah. Well, I ripped the whole thing out and I, re I redid the sock basically. And then by the time I got to this part, everything was lining up perfectly, it was great. But by the time I saw that, <laughs> there it is, it was like, I'm not ripping that out. <laughs> I'm, it's good enough. So no, I'm not ripping that out. Uh, so I am at the point where I'm turning for the heel. So that will be done uh, this afternoon. And then I can start on clue three. <laughs> so I'm enjoying these actually. It's just the um, kind of the unknown of will it fit me? Will it fit someone who I give it to, you know, but I am having fun with uh, knitting it. So, and I'm trying to do it like in little chunks so that I don't feel like overwhelmed and I don't feel, I don't get frustrated. Like, especially with the, the things like the brioche, which might as well be new to me because I hadn't done it in so long, but I was really happy that I, I got it again. To the, I was so happy about it that I was like, oh, maybe I should do like a whole something in brioche. Maybe one day, but not, not right now. <laughs> so, all right. Um, next whip. All right. This next whip is actually my June socks. <laughs> the... Uh, socks that I just showed you, the Stephen West, we're saying are my July socks. Both of these socks, none of these socks will be done in July, just so you know. Um, I think that we will um, probably finish these in August, and that's okay. All right, I have to pause you one second because I have a, a little, emer not emergency, but I have a text I need to respond to. So I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. Sorry about that. My daughter-in-law was messaging me about joining her and my grandson at the uh, History Museum, Nature and Science Museum. And I would normally, but I got things I got to get done. So not going to, but I wanted to let her know because uh, if she was going to come over and get me and all, I wanted to give her time. So, but I was like, that's okay. All right. So back to my June socks. I got, oh, um, these are, by the way, so I can just tell you the name, a nice rib socks, sock. And the pattern is by, hang on. It is by Glenacy. It's a free pattern that is on um, Ravelry, and I'm really enjoying the pattern. So here it is. Yeah, got to the heel of sock one. <laughs> um, I have finished a few things this month, so socks have been on the back burner. So I need to finish these socks and stop messing around. <laughs> All right, um, the yarn I'm using this yellow yellowish color there it is is my yarny corners corners green lantern the um green is soccer mom knits in just a green and yes 64 stitches uh 2.25 millimeter needles and yeah loving it this green if you look closely in the yellow they match i i mean that green is in the yellow how I match that, I don't know. But yes, love it. Um, these are probably for me, but could also be a gift. We'll see. Oh, okay. Right now I've got a tangled mess here because I've got two strands of uh, two different colored yarn attached. Okay, I'm going to show you something funny. 
Um, I mentioned to you that I, on our trip, I brought my, uh, let me show it to you. I'm going to get it. Hang on. I, I brought this thing on our trip, our summer trip. And you can put yarn on it and wear it on your wrist. I don't do that, but it's really good for travel. Um, and I had this little like travel hook that I put on it and I would hang it up next to uh, like on the plane. I was hanging it off the, the like, little tray table on the train and the bus and all the things. <laughs> I would hang it next to my seat. There's usually a little hook on trains in Europe. So that's what I did. Well, I like my little travel hook and I didn't want to lose it. Uh, I wanted to keep it for travel. So I went digging through all my stuff and I found another travel hook, but it's huge. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> it is gigantic. It's one of these things and it, yeah. And then you can go like this, only it's not going to go because, well, here, it goes like this. I don't know, like, well, I bought this and then I realized it's just way too big. It really is. I mean, like, I'm not going to carry this around while I'm traveling. Uh, but it works great <laughs> to use this at home. And I've been, <laughs> this is awful, I've been hanging this off my blinds. <laughs> so <laughs> it just makes it easier. Hang on. Okay, there. I don't want it, things to get tangled, so I've hung it back up. But just a little tip. <laughs> you can get those on Amazon. I, they have come in a bunch of different sizes. I can't remember what the exact name of it is. But if you search like S-hook, I'm pretty sure it would come up. So, all right. Um, if... Okay, well, I'm not going to show you my third whip, which is my incredible blanket because I still haven't done anything on it. That's going to be like the five-year project, sadly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you um, the other day, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I spent like an hour, okay, like three hours <laughs> winding yarn <laughs> uh, yesterday, uh, Wednesday. And it was all yarn from my stash that I was uh, determined to use for Christmas gifts that I want to start knitting. So I decided um, to just wind it all up. And the reason is if you stuck around till the end of last week's video, you will know that I'm moving. <laughs> well, we're not moving till the end of August, but I am packing as like, I'm just doing a little bit every day. So it's taking, um, like I've already packed one huge box of yarn and I have at least one more box to go. So I thought just pull your, the yarn, you know, you're going to need and then pack the rest of it. Uh, the only problem with that though, is that I have, um, a couple things that I still need to wind. So I haven't been able to pack it yet, but the bulk of it's packed or wound. So I'm going to show you the yarn I wound and kind of show you the projects that each one will go with. So I'm going to start with what's in my basket, just loose. So, you know, uh, first of all, this beautiful, there it is. This is Stranded Dye Works, uh, Jude, who is no longer dying, sadly. This is the Merino DK Pigeon Fancier skein, or colorway. It's beautiful. That's going to be another Oslo hat, kind of. I'm going to tweak the Oslo hat pattern to do something special, which you'll have to wait and see. But that is one. Um, the other one... Okay, so... If you've been around a while, you know that every month I pull from this gigantic um, box of sock yarn that I have. Not box, bag. It's like pillowcase size, like queen pillowcase. And I do like a lucky dip and I pull out yarn and whatever I pull out is what that month's socks are going to be knit out of. So, uh, August... <laughs> I will not be doing that because 
I wanted to pack that giant bag of yarn. So I did, but not before I went ahead and pulled the August yarn. Whether I actually cast these on in August or I just wait and do these in September, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But this is actually yarn that is a holiday yarn. It's from James Makes Yarn and it's the colorway, hang on, um, Rosy Cheeks Sock Set. And this was a, a winter like colorway that James dyed up. I think it was like, it's been a couple years. So here it is, there they are. So uh, main color and then the contrasting. So those will be the August or September socks. We're not sure what. So those were, I uh, well those. All right, now these other ones are all um, in bags. So I'll try to show you the bags because I always, I fail at that miserably, don't I? All right, so first I'm gonna show, show you the yarn that I can't name the project for, but I'll show you the yarn. And this is just, <laughs> this is just a, Good old canvas bag. <laughs> My mother-in-law gave me this, but I love that, that bird on it. It's not knitting specific, but that bird cracks me up. All right, I think it's an ostrich. Uh, yeah, it's for the, na the Nature Conservancy. Conservancy. All right, <clears throat> sorry for the crinkling. That, that's how many balls. and. This is not all the yarn I'm gonna need, but I'll show it to you. Uh, these are 50 grams, so that's why there's so many of them. There they are. That is a Shibu Knits, who also is not dying anymore, although I think that, um, well, I know that, um, gosh, my head is, I'm drawing a blank. Um, the Great Yarn Store in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> and you all are, know what I'm talking about. They mail order everything. They're great. Um, I don't know the name, but they've, they've started dying this yarn. They've like purchased the, the brand and they're dying it. But I don't know what kind, like if they're dying all the colorways or not, but this is uh, Shibu Knits and Haven. Um, Haven base and it is, hold on, 80% extra fine merino and 20% cashmere. The colorway is caper and I bought a lot of this yarn a few years back when they first said that they were going out of business because I wanted to knit something for my husband I mean, I think I bought like 20 skates. <laughs> I've used a little bit of it to knit a hat. Um, and some of it's in my penguono, but I never actually knit my husband what I was gonna knit him. So I'm gonna knit him what I said I was gonna knit him. So this is gonna be the Christmas gift. I won't say what it is. You probably can guess as far as what item it is, but not the pattern, but yeah. So, um, I, I grabbed, I had like two big plastic bags that they came in and I grabbed one and was like, oh, I'm going to go wind this yarn. And then I packed the other one and then I was like, oh wait, like these are 50 grams. So I didn't wind all the yarn I need for the sweater. Oh, sweater. Yeah. Okay. I'm knitting a sweater for my husband. Okay. But <laughs> Won't say the pattern, but yeah, um, the um, rest of the yarn's packed. So, I mean, if I even get through all this before I unpack that other box, it will be a miracle. <laughs> I don't know who I am thinking I'm going to be able to, to cast all these on and knit and have them all, like, like I'm going to run out of projects before I unpack. That's not happening. <laughs> all right, so... That's one. Hold on, I'm gonna dip down, sorry. <coughs> All right, uh, Jimmy Beans Wool. 
that's the name of the store in Reno, Nevada. <laughs> Jimmy Bean's Wool is also where I bought this uh, Della Q bag a few years ago. And it's actually like a purse. It's like that wax canvas and it's a purse, a crossbody purse, but it's meant for knitting. There's all these cool pockets. It has like uh, stitch markers, uh, things like that on it. So I carry it all the time just as a purse, but I actually have a project in here. Um, this is the Big Bad Wool that I showed you last week. I wound that up and that is for Atticus's uh, little Christmas sweater. As I was knitting, as I was winding this up, I was like falling in love with this yarn all over again. I just love this yarn. So it's the second um, Big Bad Wool, it's Wee Packa. It's the second sweater I will have made out of this. The last one I made was gray and white, and this is black and white. So he, um, his parents are all about gray, sh different shades of gray, so yeah. <laughs> One day I will knit him a really up, like loud sweater, but not not yet. So yeah, there's four skeins, so 50 grams skeins, uh, 200 grams total, and I got all that done, and it's living in this. So I I was packing up all my purses, of which I have way too many considering I don't usually carry a purse, but some of them like I just didn't want to get rid of because they're really nice purses. And I was like, I'll just hang on to them. And, um, but they had, my rule was that they had to fit in one plastic tub, small plastic tub too, not huge. So I got rid of some, but I kept some. And then I was like, I'm not packing this one because it's my knitting bag. So that's out. And that'll stay in my knitting basket until I start knitting that sweater, which will be probably sometime next week. <laughs> All right. Next project, and it is the last one. Hold on. Now this, this one, I have to tell you the story of this bag it's in. Uh, it has a lot of sentimental value. And it was one of those bags that at first I was like, I need to let this bag go. It's time, you know. So my mom died, it's been, three years now and she was in assisted living and the memory care and she used to carry uh, two bags around all the time one was her purse and one was a another bag that is not her purse which I'll talk to you about another time I have her purse <laughs> this was her coach purse and it is beautiful it is I mean you could use this as a purse still. It is in great shape. Few little blemishes. I don't carry a purse normally. I very rarely. I also happen to already have a purse in this color that I was keeping. And I was on the fence. I've been storing things in here and it's been hanging like with all my other purses. And I was like, either use that for something besides storage or get rid of it because you know, it was kind of like a sentimental thing, but I was kind of feeling like I have other things for my mom that mean more. So why am I keeping this bag? Well, so then when I was looking at it, I was like, you know, this is just like those, uh, those bags that Stephen West and everyone's selling now, those really good leather bags. This is like that. And it's perfect for knitting projects. So I was like, I'm going to keep it. And I'm gonna use it. So, um, all right. Now I'll show you what's in here. <laughs> so these little bags that are in there um, are all the yarn. Um, I had that. I showed you two weeks ago the yarn I got at Stephen and Penelope's in Amsterdam. I got a kit, a set of yarn from. Um, it was like a special type. Of yarn that was milled in somewhere outside of Amsterdam and it was an exclusive colorway for Stephen West and so I wound those all up and I split them into um, fairly equal so like 50 grams each there you go um, I kind of they're not exactly 50 
but I'm gonna use them along with some other yarn, which I'll talk to you about in a second, um, to make my husband a scarf. He does know about that. He probably knows about the sweater too, let's be honest. But yeah. So yeah, I wound all that up. I don't think it's gonna be able to stay in this bag the whole time because, and here's where we move into acquisitions. Um, I had to order, I did, it, it's a DK, I'm gonna do the painting bricks uh, scarf uh, that Stephen West have, has, I'm going to do this smaller one, but I needed a main color in DK weight. And, um, this was all fingering weight, all the yarn that I bought, um, for this project. Uh, so I'm going to have to hold it double. Well, I didn't have enough yarn in a complementary color that I could, um, make use for the main color. So I had to order some, and so that will be here probably next week and then I can cast on. I, d I didn't feel too bad ordering it because it is for a gift. It is for a project that I'm gonna complete like, and then I'm gonna cast on immediately. So it wasn't like a, it, it was a very intentional purpose or purchase. So um, you know that I'm doing low by year. So that was, you know, I was like really trying to make it work without buying yarn, but in this case, everything I had either wasn't really complimentary with these colors or just I didn't have enough of it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I told my husband, look, this is for your, your sweater or your scarf, so I'm going to have to buy it. <laughs> so, all right, so that's, those are my uh, acquisitions, although I don't have them to show you, but I will probably next week, um, and I'll tell you all about it then. All right, um, sorry, I'm looking out here. There's just someone walking down the street. It's really hot here, so um, I'm like, why are you walking down the street? It's so hot, go inside. <laughs> and by really hot, I mean like almost 100 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so yeah. All right. Um, so, acquisitions, plans, I guess that's about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, for those of you who don't want to stick around and uh, see what, or hear about my life stuff, <laughs> I totally get that. That's fine. Uh, I do ask that you like and subscribe because that just helps get my videos out to more people. Uh, I will be back next week, so uh, check back next Friday or Saturday for another video. All right, for the rest of you sticking around, thank you for staying. Don't have a whole lot of life stuff. I have been uh, busy just, I'm trying to get packing done. I've got some work-related stuff going on that I'll talk to you about next week because I'm not quite ready to share. Uh, sorry, I'm I'm winding yarn over. My sock yarn that I hung over here on my giant hook is, I'm just messing with it. I need to stop doing that. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm just slowly getting stuff packed. Um, I'm gonna, I'm off right now from work and um, a week from Monday, I'm going to be very busy because I will be back to working full time. So I am trying to just get things kind of get a jump on things while I have some time. So it's been um, just, you know, random moving things and then some other stuff that I'll tell you about next week. Um, nothing else, really. Uh, as far as reading. Do I, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything on life stuff. No, I did not. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, as far as reading, hang on. I'm going to open my Goodreads here. I finished two books this week and hang on because it's taken a second to open up here. So I can tell you, I'm still really behind on my reading and I'm just going to have to like suck it up and read like crazy <laughs> the next week. <laughs> All right, I finished two books. One was called Victim by Andrew, 
I'm, I'm going to botch this, so I'm going to spell it B-O-R-Y-G-A. This was a really good book, and I didn't know a lot going in. Like, I was not, like, I, I put it on my holds, it came in, I started reading it. I didn't really know the what the story was. Well, it's basically a, a kid that, um, oh, someone's alarm's going off. Sorry about that. Uh, basically, it's a, a kid from the Bronx, and he's... Um, um from he's puerto rican and his it, it's just kind of the story about how he he went to college and started a career writing and he basically made up everything he wrote and he gets caught in the end but it's all about how he plays the victim and he's not really the victim but he makes everyone think that he is and then um just what came of that <laughs> so it's not a true story it's just a non-fiction story i mean a fiction story and it really it's one it's very good writing and then um it's just a good story he the guy is a really good storyteller so um recommend that <laughs> All right, the other book I finished, I don't even know why I finished this book. I'm going to tell you. It's called The Sleepwalkers by Scarlett Thomas. I usually don't continue to read books I don't like, but for some reason I continued to read this book. And it's all about, I mean, this, I can't tell you too much about it because I can't, I don't want to give it away, but the idea behind it was good. But the execution of it, not so good. It just was a mess. <laughs> the story was a mess. It's a hot mess, basically. Um, but basically, this couple, they're on their honeymoon in, on an island in Greece. And that's all I can tell you. <laughs> but there's so many... There's like a backstory and then a backstory to the backstory and it's just, it's a hot mess. And i not sure why I finished it. So don't recommend that book. All right, uh, that's it as far as the books I finished. And as far as what I'm watching, I'm not. However, tomorrow the Olympics start and my husband and I are gonna subscribe to Paramount Plus at least for a month, <laughs> just so we can watch the Olympics. Uh, we're really interested in, especially the the one the events that'll take place that involves uh, swimming in the sign swing sign river. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, that river, we were we took a little. Um, boat ride down it when we were in Paris last earlier this month and uh all the athletes all the everyone's like it's so polluted they can't have people swimming in it da, da, da. and the fish like the government's like oh no it's fine it's fine <laughs> so we're interested to see what happens there I wouldn't swim in it uh it's well one it's a huge river and it like has real waves. It's not like a calm river. It looked pretty dirty to me. <laughs> like as of two and a half weeks ago, it was pretty dirty. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So yeah, my husband and I are looking forward to uh, watching that, uh, all the Olympic events, <laughs> especially anything involving getting in that water. <laughs> All right, um, that's all I have. I'm going to wrap it up. A little short video today. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I will be back next week. And everybody, uh, keep on knitting. Bye.